Steve Mack here, just coming from one of my little spots down here. I've just been for a walk, about to go go do a workout down here in the um in my local neighbourhood. I love mixing it up, doing things differently. Um, apparently, it's a long weekend here on the east coast of Australia. I don't know where you are watching this from in the world, but the east coast of Australia, long weekends, very busy weekends. Lots of people travelling, going to lakes, rivers, up to the mountains, camping, wherever the beach, wherever it is, and thousands of people everywhere. And that's a, I believe that's a massive problem with society and having to work to someone else's set of rules. Having to have these breaks when everyone tells you to have them. It's something I used to do all the time. I used to twist and turn a little bit with them, but I used to rush my weekends. My weekends away from, were massive for me in like, I talk about working on my inner world and all my demons and all that sort of stuff. And I used to, used to have to like, go away and uh, I like <laughs> I think about it now and like how silly it was I used to go up and like climb a mountain or something and shout at the top of the hill and be so angry and like do that and these long weekends were huge for me and people used to say you go on these missions by yourself and I used to push the boundaries to get away from people and I still couldn't do it because I didn't have it wasn't in my time I didn't have my time to move away and do that and I don't know how many of you guys are driving home this morning twice I laid a video this morning too because Long weekend, a lot of you sleep in. I had to sleep in too till like 5.30, but that's just me. But you're driving home now and you're like, you had your weekend, you might have had a bit of fun, you've caught up with heaps of friends or family, you might have had the ski boat out, the wake boat out, got the shits with too many boats on the lake, or you have it doing a spot of fishing, there's people everywhere and you just haven't had the fun you want. Or you might have had a great weekend. You might have had a great weekend and you love people, you love all these crowds and everything, but I know me, no, not for me. But driving down the, the highway today, going back and you're like, holy shit, it's another couple of months before I get a long weekend or it's another three months or I've got to wait till my next RDO where my boss tells me to have the day off. And I talk about better ways and it's taken me a while to come up with my better ways and I, I, don't, I don't say this is the only better way. There are so many better ways to do things. Like, to all you guys in the industry I was in and you went out and bought your own machines and all that, that's a better way. I know you're basing now, you've got more of a choice in life and everything's about choice. So well done to you guys. And even the guys that have stepped up and you've done something different, it could be in any industry, any industry, whatever, but you've realized that there's different ways to do things and you've taken that risk as such. But you'll find by doing these risks, there might be a money or overheads involved, but these risks might be truer to your values or where you want to head in life, and they might be closer to you. They might suit your family better. And you, you've taken at it. And I can guarantee you guys are sitting there now thinking the opposite way to so many people think. At the start, you're like, all right, what good could happen if I do do this? What good could happen if I do mortgage out my house and take this massive loan out? But I can see that the future is going to be much better if I do this risk now. There's going to be short-term work there's gonna be maybe some short-term sideways steps, but you see the bigger picture. And so many people are stuck in this, no, 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 I'll work harder. More, more time, more money, more time, more money, more time, more money. I used to be stuck in that all the time. What's the result of that? You get tired and stressed out. You don't get the time you want with your family or your friends or when you wanna go away for some quiet time. You don't get that time on your own, on, on your own terms. Doesn't it shit ya? Like, Serious, you, you're like going down the freeway now, like that Hume Highway, for you guys on the east coast of Australia. It used to shit me going home. You're just sitting there like you're either speeding or there's people overtaking, you're like, eh, whatever. Big weekend, didn't get what I want out of it, but it was okay. Oh, what am I doing tomorrow? Work, oh, work. And that's it, done. Where's the good weekend you had? Gone. What are you looking forward to? Another long weekend when your boss chooses you to go? Well, you're paying for his holidays. Have a think outside the box, people. I talk about taking risks. These risks take up less energy, less stress than staying in the same freaking stupid box world all the time. I'm living it now, I know. I'm so excited about life. There's so many new doors opening to me now because I seen, I asked that right question at the start. What is something awesome that can happen if I do this? Not Oh my God, I've got this that's going to stop me. Oh, if I do this, this is going to go wrong. This is going to go wrong here, there, and everywhere. Oh, money, money, money. Think of it the other way. Money's just energy. If you're going to t trade time for money, you've got it backwards anyway. Think about big picture people. You've got goals and dreams. Focus on them. 
You'll start to guide yourself if you focus on them, not all the problems on the way. What you focus on, you find, you focus on the problems, guess what? You're gonna strike problems. And don't get me wrong, I've had my challenges doing this. I've had my late nights, I've had to put in extra work, I've had to do things so different and outside my comfort zone. But on the other side of that, the rewards. And I'm not talking monetary rewards, I'm talking about you get outside your comfort zone like me. And, and I'll bring this into it, like something. Relationships for me is something I shied away from. So what happens then, I'm approaching women and all that. No, now I've got so much bloody confidence from stepping outside my comfort zone, that guess what? That stuff changes people. So, all these risks. Think about big picture guys. Think about what amazing things are on the other side of that. Think about them dreams you got. You will make things happen. And you'll be surprised what happens who shows up along the way if you put that amazing energy out there? Oh yeah, enjoy that drive home guys. Like I say, I'm going to do a workout because this is what I choose to do. And oh, I might even go have some me time myself today where there's no people because that's what I love. I'm Steve Mack. There are so many better ways. See you later.